Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'll be reviewing the set of 60 Everblend markers by Arteza, and I'll be using them later on in the video to do my monthly Patreon drawing. So Arteza was kind enough to send me this awesome set of 60 blendable alcohol markers, and they come in this great uh, kit or set or carrying case that comes with a handle and a removable shoulder strap. It has some tags on it with some information about each color. The case is really well made. It's kind of kind of like a sort of a canvas and the strap is very sturdy. There's this cool pocket on the back where you can keep maybe a very small sketch pad or some extra markers or pencils or pens. The strap on top, like I said, it's got a shoulder strap that's adjustable and removable, and also the handle. And then it's got these great connectors in the front, or fasteners in the front, that are also adjustable depending on how many markers you keep in it. And I love them because I have another case that's similar to this for my Copic markers, and it's nowhere near as nice. It doesn't have this the extra fasteners, it only has the Velcro, and one time I it fell open and all of my markers dropped everywhere, so the extra fasteners are, are much appreciated on this case. It has the Velcro on the sides to keep it closed, and then you could also open it to use it sort of like as an easel to easily reach your markers while you're working. It has the five rows of markers and then extra room for more markers in the back. It has some beautiful colors at first glance. I was really excited. The names of the markers are really fun, similar to the, um, oops, there I'm busted because I, I snuck one of them out to test it earlier before recording the video. Slipping that back in. So here, just for an example, this is the Copic case that I have that's similar. It's a little dirty, sorry. But it's got the, um, I added that extra clasp to try to keep it closed because like I said, it fell open and all my markers went everywhere one time. But the good thing about this set is it has these pockets instead of the elastic bands that the Arteza one has, which actually the bands are good and bad in a way because they're, they keep them, the markers much more secure but they're not as easy to put in and out as you're working. Like if you just want to pull one out and push it back in, you have to kind of use two hands to pull out the strap and put the marker back in. But anyway, like I said, I really love these fasteners on the outside to keep it them extra protected. So with those, you really don't need these elastic straps in here. But like I said, just better to be safe because I don't like to have my markers drop everywhere. <laughs> So lots of awesome colors, very excited to use this set. I've, since I've recorded this video, I've used them several times and swatched them out, which I'll do here in a moment. So there I'm showing you how it's a little more difficult to put the marker back in <laughs> just by pulling it out and pushing it back in while you're working. So I end up with markers like all over my desk instead of push, putting them back where they belong but not that big of a deal. Just overall, I prefer this case much better than the more expensive Copic one. This set retails for $69.99 as I'm looking at the website now. It's actually on sale for $59.99. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, the link to my Arteza, or my Arteza link is in the description box below. And if you click that link and make a purchase, then a, a small percentage comes to me, so I appreciate that. So I really like the feel, the shape of it. I've used some other markers that are this shape. It feels good in the hand. The casing is it feels a little bit a little bit cheaper than some of the other markers that I have, but I mean really no big deal. It feels good in my hand. Um, you can easily take the caps off and on. They don't set into each other. Like if you take off one cap, you can't put it on top of it. It doesn't stay, but that's common with these alcohol markers. One end is a bullet tip. The other is a chisel. These aren't brush markers, but you know, and I, and I've gotten used to using 
brush markers with my alcohol markers, but when I did use these, I didn't miss them very much. As I'm doing this crimson red, you can see just how beautiful the color blends. I just did some straight lines without blending there, and you can just barely see them. At where I blended a little bit more at the top, you can see how nice and creamy that comes out. I was thrilled with a lot of the colors that they had in the set. Some of them were just so brilliantly beautiful. The cap stays on very well. Like I said, it doesn't go back into the other side, but that's very common with alcohol markers. You can easily read the color, and th for the most part, the colors were a pretty close match to what was on the cap, but that's common too. They're not usually going to match. Here's just an example of comparison of some of the other types of alcohol markers that I have. The shape's really similar to this Azure. This Azure is kind of like a generic brand. I think I got it at like Tuesday morning or something, and it has the bullet tip and chisel the same. They're similar size, similar look, and they both have that, um, or the, um, like the Copic marker, it has that little red band or color band where you can see easily which end is which. So one end where it has the bullet tip has the color band and then the other end doesn't have anything. And I actually like that better than any of these others. I think the Copic, all of those are gray while this one has the actual color as the band. So in comparison, just looking at the feel and the, how it feels in your hand and how uh, the caps are pretty much the same as the other markers on the high end, closer to Copic. So it's the triangle shape was what I was trying to uh, explain. It, it reminds me of when you were a little kid and you had those triangle wooden pencils that were supposed to help you learn how to, to write. I don't know if any of you guys had that or I'm just really old, but um, they, they're very helpful. They were helpful to help you hold the pencil correctly. And so I, I like using that shape. I'm trying to give a close up of how this lilac looks. A lot of this markers, it was kind of common with a lot of the markers where I would lay out the color and then there was sort of like an under color that would show around the edge and that's not really preferred. It wasn't all the colors, but a lot of them had that. It was kind of like a little ring around the color. Here you can see it with the lavender as well. You can see that feathering of pink coming out from underneath it. So that's, you know, that's not great to have happen with alcohol markers, but it was only on a few of like the purples. And I think it's just because it's not because of the, the mix. So some of the colors are just so incredibly beautiful. This apple green is just gorgeous. And I just fell in love with some of the colors and couldn't wait to use them. The names of the colors, I really, <laughs> it really makes no difference, but I really enjoyed the names of the colors because they had like really fruity names <laughs> and like, and fun names like, like this bumblebee yellow. And it really does look like what I would think a bumblebee yellow would be. So kudos to whoever made these names up. I really like them. So here's a care. I'm from the Carolinas, so it kind of bugged me that this Carolina blue wasn't really Carolina blue. The blue on the cap was actually pretty Carolina blue, but the the blue that comes out of it was a little bit. I'm giving it the thumbs down, but it was a little different than the cap. Not that big of a deal. So here's all the swatching that I did, and just kind of flipping through them, you can see all the beautiful colors. And, you know, blendability on these, I, I, top notch. I really thought, oh gosh, some of those colors are so beautiful. I got caught off guard just looking at them. But the, I mean, the blendability, I, I really enjoyed them. They were really great to blend and nice and juicy as you want markers to be. So, really liking them. So just going through some of my favorite colors, and oddly, I, yellow is not one of my favorite colors, but since I've started using Arteza products, it has been because they just have the most gorgeous array of yellows. 
and you can't really pick them up on camera just how gorgeous they are but some of these yellows were just my favorite like that jasmine yellow that it's like a very light gold absolutely gorgeous and this interesting green tea in person it's just so yummy I just I loved it it seems just perfect name for it this vermilion oh my gosh it's it's more orangey than I would think that vermilion usually is but it's beautiful and I really loved all these like orangey reds the watermelon neon, neon pink tomato red just nice and bright some of them seem kind of close on the camera but in person they were all very different So these are my little swatch packs. I use a, um, like a punch. I have a tag punch and then I just put them on a ring. It takes me a while but it's well worth it to do it in this way because when I'm planning a drawing then I can just easily choose my colors from this and kind of hold them up together and see what goes together well. It also helps me choose what product that I'm going to use if I have an idea for a drawing or painting that I'll just, uh, what, trying to determine whether I want to do it in watercolor or if I want to do marker, then I can look through the colors that I have for each easily this way. It works really well. I also like to have color chart swatches as well. So just trying to compare a little bit, you can't really see it here, but they're very comparable as far as quality and blendability. They, they're just missing that brush tip, which is you know pretty expensive to produce. So they're, it's gonna be much more expensive to buy a pack of brush tip markers. And like I said, when I'm doing the drawing a little in a little bit, I didn't really miss the, the brush tip too much. So here's the pack of colors that I chose for the drawing that I'm doing. And kind of a muted, not very many different colors, but this is just kind of going with the, the drawing that I did prior to choosing the colors I was gonna use. Just giving a good look at the tips of the markers, the chisel tip and the bullet end. Oh, it also has this nice notch here to help you pull it off. So some of the mark, some markers are more difficult than others to pull the cap off. It's just good to have a little extra notch there to help remove it. For example, I have like Windsor and Newton has a marker that has like a bullet shaped cap and it's very difficult to get off. So here I'm just showing some of the little thumbnails that I did trying to decide. I knew I wanted to do an Amidala, like sort of a Padme from Star Wars, but I was just trying to decide a, a look. Here I decided on the, the format I wanted and the composition, but then I wanted to test the colors that I was using, so that's my little color test. So this is the drawing that I did for my patrons. So for uh, June, well, no July, this was their Patreon sketch. I also did a line art version of it where I sent or made available to all my patrons a line art version that they could color on their own. So if you're interested in being one of my patrons or checking out what I have to offer, the link is in the description box below. One thing I did notice about the set of markers is there weren't very many skin tones. There were 
there there were two light skin tones and then maybe two dark skin tones and not really any medium or any other colors but there are ways of blending to get certain colors if you are limited to um, a, limited in the, the colors of markers you have you just have to know how to blend which I don't really know how to very well <laughs> but I know it's possible. But the colors that they did, did have, these particular ones, the, the two light shades, they they were pretty and they, they did work just as well as some of the Copic skin tones I have. So I want to thank Arteza so much for sending me this pack of markers. I just absolutely love them and have been so excited that I was able to kind of partner with them so I could start uh, showing you guys, sharing the products with you, particularly the watercolor pencils. If you haven't seen that video uh, where, of course, you know, this is a doll art channel mainly. So I did do a review on their watercolor pencils, which are absolutely insanely good. And I've been using them like crazy since that video. If you'd like to see that, I'll put that in the iCard above, but make sure to check that out because if you're looking for a reasonably priced, huge set of watercolor pencils for your doll art, that is an awesome option. Like I said, the link for purchasing is in the description box below if you're interested. So for the rest of this video I'll just be adding the colors and blending and showing you the steps all the way to the end of this drawing so I'll let you enjoy that. If you have any questions please put them in the comment section below. Let me know if you, what you guys think and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye! Thank you.